you want to sit in it? Look at this, the only flying C Fury in Australia. I tell you what, Paul Bennett is just adding to his fleet and the air shows are just getting bigger and better. It takes two people to lift each blade. Let's interview him about the mighty Sea Fury. So let's talk air speeds. What's the air speed you're getting out of it and what's the top speed it can get to? Well, the air speed indicator goes to 400 knots. <laughs> so it is very quick, like compared to the other warbirds like the Mustangs, Kitty Hawks and Spitfires, they're great machines and they're fast and they do everything you want them to do. They're, you know, they're amazing machines, but this machine probably does everything 100 knots faster. Yeah. Um, you know, even cruising, you know, you cruise Taz and a Mustang at 250 all the time. You know, this will always be, even with a power right back here at 275. Wow. Um, and so, you know, like you've got to keep the power back really to be, you know, if you're below 10,000, we're supposed to be below 250 knots indicated. So would you say this is the fastest piston driven single engine plane in Australia? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not hard to get to 400 knots. <gasps> It's not even a challenge to get to 350. So, you know, with a Mustang, I normally run in around 300. It takes a bit of pushing to get it, you know, to get through 250 to get to 300. Yeah, it's not that hard, but you've got to have a pretty good downhill run. This one seems to get there very easily and it holds its momentum really well. Mustang will slow a bit when you start pulling a little bit of G. The, um, the Fury just seems to keep going. You don't run out of momentum at, at the end of the display. You know, The prop doesn't look that big here. But when you're trying to put the prop together, like you can't fit it in a container, not even a high cube. Really? Yeah, it doesn't look that big, but because it's on a big aeroplane. But when you're trying to lift, you, it, that weighs 240 kilos, and it takes two people to lift each blade. How many of these are actually flying in Australia? Uh, there's none flying in Australia. There hasn't been one flying here for at least 20 years. Um, the last one that flew here was a Centaurus powered one. So who trained you to fly it? <laughs> um, me. <laughs> I've got a lot of, obviously I've got a lot of experience flying a lot of different types of aircraft. I had a really good understanding of how everything works. And so once you've flown a lot of aeroplanes and you're pretty experienced with high performance aeroplanes, you pull back, it goes up, you push forward, it goes down, yeah. you roll left, it rolls <laughs> yeah. left, you know. They all do similar things. You know, I guess, I guess you get to a certain point in your flying career where you can sort of get in pretty much any aeroplane and fly it. So how many warbirds do you have in your fleet now? I don't know. Well, that's a good sign. He's lost count of them. Um, I've got 23 aeroplanes. Wow. Uh, I've got the Sea Fury, the Avenger, the Wirraway, the Trojan, two Yak 52s. So, Warbird wise, I guess it's six. It's got a step here, so it's spring loaded. Yeah. They so pull the step down, and you can step in there, and then reach forward to the handle. You want to sit in it? Yeah, yeah you can sit sure. in it. Cross. Yeah, use that step. Put your foot in there. Come up on the wing. And so this is a parachute, you said? How would you parachute out of this? Out Blow the canopy off. Yeah. There's an emergency canopy release down the right hand side of the seat. So if you've got to jump out, blow the canopy, jump out, pull the cord. So how does this actually glide? I haven't found out and I don't want to find out. But <laughs> like most war birds, they come down pretty quick. Yeah. It's pretty simple in here. All the power is just up the front. What made you want to buy a Sea Fury? I've been looking for one for a while and I went to Oshkosh after Flying Legends last year and there was a few on the market at the time but I started sort of looking at them and I thought this one was probably the best deal. It had a lot of spares and you know everyone probably doesn't want a 3350 powered Sea Fury but I did. Um, just I want to be able to fly it when I want to fly it. The Centaurus is obviously a great engine and runs like a turbine but they're expensive to maintain and they take a lot of maintenance. It's, they're a hard engine just to pull out each day and go flying. Whereas I can pretty much check the oil, scavenge it, fill the fuel up, fill the smoke up for the wingtip generators, pull the prop through, make sure it's all free. I can probably be, be flying it, you know, within an hour of deciding I wanted to fly it. It'd, it'd be nice to have a Centaurus power machine for the authenticity of it, I guess. But it looks identical. The only real difference from the outside is the four-bladed prop instead of a five-bladed prop. The propeller goes opposite way to what a Centaurus does, so the torque goes left instead of right. Yeah. Got more horsepower, 3,050 horsepower. Wow. Goes pretty awesome. good. So what can we expect from you in the Sea Fury at the Snare Show? I think you can expect to see probably the fastest piston you've seen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It's got the smoke generators on the wingtip, so everywhere you go, you've got two trails of smoke. So when you roll, you can see the spiral of the smoke and it, 
you know, as a pilot, when you're flying it, as you're doing a figure at this end and you start coming back down, you can see, see where all your smoke's been. Yeah. You can see the spirals. You know, big, lazy aerobatics. It does a 6,000-foot loop without even trying. Thanks, Paul. Look forward to seeing it fly. No worries. I look forward to displaying it.